What's up, guys? Welcome back to a new edition of Customs from the Underground. We just got done with Revolution. This is actually the first video post-Revolution. So if you guys have not watched the show, please go watch it. It was a pretty fun show, actually. It was fun to film. It just was hell to, you know, finish everything. But I got the show out. I got my weekly show. Well, not weekly show, but monthly show out. And I was able to film everything. So I was glad that I was able to do that. I plan on making some other different videos down the line. But for now, I'm just going to leave it with this Customs from the Underground. I'm supposed to be getting something in the mail. I don't know if it's going to happen this week or if it's going to happen at all. Because this figure has been backordered. I think this is the first time. So... If it gets backordered again, then I don't know what I'm going to do. But I know I got another figure that's coming in the mail. And it's a pretty rare figure. And I got it from Amazon. So, yeah, that's a different video. If it comes. Only if. But for now, I'm going to give you guys this review. So, for those of you who actually watched Revolution, then you know what this is. For those of you who didn't, click off now. Go watch Revolution. Or if you don't give a crap about Revolution, then watch this. So, right here... We have the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. I made it clear when I introduced him in World of Action, he's not the artist, he's not the nutbreaker, he's the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, which is what he's supposed to be called. Not the artist. If he's an artist, he paints. He doesn't paint, although I'm an artist because I painted this. So I'm going to tell you guys exactly what I did for this figure. So before I go on, I also want to give a huge shout out to my friend Gio I've given this man so many shout outs and it's because he's helped me a lot ever since I think we became friends in of course high school because I'm still in high school we became friends soft my sophomore year he's a junior so now he's gonna be a senior I'm gonna be a junior which is actually gonna be pretty cool but um we started talking one day turns out we both liked wrestling and rock bands so Eventually, we traded numbers. I hooked him up with a John Moxley custom. He hooked me up with a couple of figures. We've done a couple of trades. He hooked me up with a few AJ Styles figures. And he also hooked me up with this Network Spotlight Finn Balor that's not even in the shot. But, yeah. And he's he's helped me a lot with a couple of different customs. So, I'm going to try moving the camera without breaking anything. He's helped me out with a lot of customs. And this is one that he's helped me out with. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to make it, but... Now I'm actually glad I decided to make it. So, right here we have the Shinsuke Nakamura custom. This is the attire that Shinsuke Nakamura wore for Revolution. This is not an attire he's worn in real life, sadly. But, you never know. He could change it up. Plus, he's on SmackDown. So, yeah, he could change it up. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to take Shinsuke out of the shot. And I'm going to try and take off the jacket along with switch out his interchangeable hands and show you what is underneath the king of oh shit the king of strong style so i'm gonna take him out of frame and show you guys what he looks like with pretty much his ja his jacket off and then the interchangeable hands so here he is he's not even in the shot anymore so here is god damn it i dropped him okay let's not screw this up here we go so here he is the custom elite Shinsuke Nakamura in this, I like to call it a blue lion attire. I don't know if it's based off of anything, but I do like it. So I don't know why I call it a blue lion attire. I'm not sure if like a blue lion is like a superhero or something or if it's something else. I don't watch any superhero movies. I fell asleep during a Captain America movie and I fell asleep during a Star Wars movie. But yeah, that's a story for a different day. So I'm trying not to move the camera a lot because all I have is just my phone balancing on a box. And the box is pretty big, so I don't want to mess anything up. So here you have the custom Shinsuke Nakamura that I made. This is a pretty great figure, actually. Believe it or not, I used, and you can tell there by the red, which I need to touch up. I used the Elite 63 Shinsuke Nakamura, which I know some of you are going to be like, why'd you use that? In my defense, it was the only Shinsuke Nakamura I had because I used my other one for the custom Chris Jericho. And then I used the legs for a suited AJ Styles, so... Yeah, I didn't really have a Shinsuke Nakamura until I found the Elite 63. Yeah, that's what I said, Elite 63. I also made my own custom Shinsuke Nakamura, which is a New Japan figure that I think I might feature on here a different time. But for now, we're just going to focus on this blue Shinsuke Nakamura. So, my two favorite colors are gold and blue. And then I found a way to element them into this 
which is pretty nice. So like I said, this whole figure is the Elite 63. I just painted over everything. So this was originally... The base of this was red, and it had like black designs going across, but I just painted it all blue. I also painted the shoes too. The shoes actually look pretty nice. And I was also able to give it a black... I don't know what these are called, like black soles on the bottom, which actually look pretty nice, and I do like how that looks. It looks pretty nice. And I also gave him these... Well, I didn't give him... Well, I did give him this, but I also painted up the arms. So these are the Elite 63 arms because you have the interchangeable hands. I just took a toothpick, painted this gold. If you're wondering what paints I use, I use... Uh, I use Apple Barrel, and I also use Folk Art, so this is the gold I used for the Shinsuke Nakamura. It's also the gold I've used for my AJ Styles statue, and then I also use this blue. I've also used this blue on another mask. I use this on the LGBT Jason mask, and I'm also using this on a different mask that I plan to show July 4th. So, I painted the belt first. Actually, no, I painted the crotch piece first. I painted the base blue, and then I painted the belt. So the belt wasn't that hard. I just went over the gold and then touched up some parts. And then I also painted the blue lines down here. Because they were molded on there by Mattel. So I just decided to continue it. But yeah, all in all, it's pretty nice. And there also is an Easter egg with this figure. If you can tell, which I'm pretty sure you can tell now. But if you can't, I'm going to try and get a close-up here. But Which is probably going to be a little bit creepy. But I was actually able... To paint the mouth guard and Shinsuke's mouth, which is actually pretty cool. I didn't think I'd be able to do that. I just wanted to see if I could. And yeah, I was able to paint the blue mouth guard. So yeah, I'm not sure seeing if uh, Gio actually wants, well, not this exact Shinsuke Nakamura, but I can make him another one. And also, this isn't the um, other gold attire of Shinsuke Nakamura I've made. Well, this is kind of inspired by a different attire that Shinsuke Nakamura actually wore. So, I have this custom here, and I made this custom before the Ultimate Edition came out, and I do plan on getting the Ultimate Edition. So, this is the Elite uh, 63 figure, the exact same thing, but the only thing I did was, I didn't acetone anything, I painted over the red, which, in case you're wondering, I used this, another folk art paint. For some reason, this one, like, molds for some reason, but sometimes it molds, sometimes it doesn't. But I did the exact same thing I did with this. I painted the arms, I painted the armband here, and then I painted the crotch piece first, painted that red, and then went over it in gold, and then did the exact same thing here. I did not touch up the shoes, because the shoes actually look pretty nice, but they do have the gold, not gold, the black soles on here. And yeah, I did try and paint the mouth guard on here, but the mouth guard, it didn't really turn out the best because I think it's smudged a little bit. But yeah, you guys can tell right there, it just did not turn out good. But yeah, this is kind of inspired by the WrestleMania, uh, well, what was it? WrestleMania 34, not 30, I was going to say 32, but no, he didn't even wrestle at 32. He wrestled at NXT TakeOver, but he didn't wrestle at the actual WrestleMania show, which... Kind of sucks. I'm trying to position the camera right so you guys can see. My damn Rubik's Cube's getting in the way. There you go. And also, that's not the other custom Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, I actually made a custom basic of Shinsuke Nakamura, but it's basically just this attire. So, here's the basic that I made. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm kind of stupid with this. And I have put this armband on here, and it does look pretty nice. And I might do that for the next show. I'm not sure. But yeah, I didn't. I did not have to paint anything on here. The only thing I painted on here was the gold on the armbands, the wristbands, and then the the belt, which I had to be very, very careful and not mess up anything. But I think in the end it turned out pretty good. But yeah, so I do like this Shinsuke Nakamura figure. This is probably one of my new favorite customs. I don't really play with it. I don't like to play with some of my customs because it like chips the paint away and it just doesn't work i do use customs to pose around with in the pick fed but then i just like touch up wherever anything messed up that's why for wrestlemania i said i wasn't going to use the iron man aj but i decided to use it anyway and now i lost the gauntlet glove and i can't find it so somebody who had a real gauntlet glove must have snapped their fingers yeah i can know i can't snap hang on there you go. So somebody must have snapped away my gauntlet glove because now I can't find it. But 
Let me know what you guys think about the Shinsuke Nakamura. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's good? Do you think it sucks ass? Just let me know what you think about this. And in case you guys are wondering what the jacket I used for Shinsuke Nakamura was, I used this. It's a Finn Balor jacket from the uh, Elite 74. Yeah, Elite 74. I was going to say 64, but no, that was the series with... Um, that was a series with Cena, The Usos, Rollins, Kurt Hawkins. Did I already say Samoa Joe? Oh, uh, there's somebody else in that set, but I can't remember who. I know Pete Dunne was in there, and yeah, I think that's it. So let me know what you think about this Shinsuke Nakamura in the comments. Like I said, do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's a man figure? Should I use it more in World of Action? I also noticed that I have not used this in World of Action at all. I've used the New Japan Shinsuke, and I've used... I've used the NXT TakeOver Shinsuke, and I've used the Elite 63 Shinsuke, but I have not used either. Well, I've used this one, but I haven't used this one. So maybe I can use this in the future, but I don't know. But they both look pretty nice, and yeah, if you're going to try and make this figure, um, if you have wood like I do, which is on here, do not stand him up, because I don't know why, but for some reason, like if you're going to display him, make sure he has a display stand under him, because... Or make sure he's standing on something other than the ground. Because for some reason, whenever I put my Shinsuke Nakamura figure, it's especially this one on th this desk. And I leave it there for like a day. When I try and lift it up, it's like it's stuck. And then when I finally get it off, it takes off pieces of the wood. Well, I don't know. Well, this isn't real wood, but I don't know. But it just takes off parts of my desk, which kind of pisses me off. And there are parts of my desk that are missing. But most of my desk is just covered in paint. But... Yeah, let me know what you think about the Shinsuke Nakamura in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like, comment, share, subscribe. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.